Bible is telling us about Joshua and the children of Israel. And in this story, Joshua was giving his farewell address to uh, the children of Israel. And he was putting before them, uh, he was letting them know that the decision to serve the Lord was their own. Yes, God had been good to them and the Lord had settled them in the land of Canaan. And yet Joshua had noticed that uh, there was a certain mentality about them, but uh, he questioned them concerning uh, their faithfulness to God. It is important for us to know, children of God, that the Lord doesn't force us to do anything. Can I get a witness here? He doesn't force us to serve him. He doesn't twist our arms to serve him, uh, but he gives us a choice. Amen. He puts before us life and death, blessings or cursings. And what the Lord wants us to do is choose life. And so Joshua, as being the leader of the children of Israel, uh, he told them, now, therefore, fear the Lord. Serve him in sincerity and in truth. Put away the gods that your father served on the other side of the flood or in the land of Egypt. He said, if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day uh, which gods you're going to serve. Would it be the gods that your father served on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now dwell? He says, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Well, Joshua couldn't speak for everybody else, but he could speak for himself. Amen. Because he knew how good God had been to him. He knew that serving the Lord made a difference in his life. You know, there are some people that go through the motion and uh, they don't realize that God is really good. But I come to tell you that when you serve God for yourself or you make your mind up to serve God, God will confirm his blessings to you. Oh, yeah. There are those that serve God that would have it no other way. They know that God adds to them. God makes a way for them. He opens up doors for them. He does things, does things for them they can never do for their self. And they can attest for the fact that when you deposit the right type of mind, the right type of attitude and spirit into your worship of God, it pays big dividends. Oh, can I get a witness here? How many of y'all being blessed every day? Uh, because of the mind that you have to serve God. Uh, well, Joshua knew uh, through his walking with God and how uh, God had watched over them and provided for the children of Israel. And even uh, through his own observation, he could see how good God was, how God brought them up in the land of Egypt. And even when they were toiling and scuffling, the Lord made a way for them to be delivered. When they cried to the Lord and cried out to him and asked God to help them, the Lord sent help from on high. Oh, yes, God raised up a deliverer to deliver them out of the hands of the Egypt. And the Bible says that when they were on the verge of uh, leaving Egypt, when they were locked in by the Red Sea, and they were crying out because Pharaoh and his army was coming up to destroy them. Uh, how they cried and they cried, but yet God spoke to Moses and said, why are you crying to me? He said, stretch out your rod and go forward. And Joshua was one to witness the parting of the Red Sea and uh, the children of Israel being able to walk across the Red Sea on dry ground. And how God had wrought a mighty deliverance in their life. Once they got on the other side, they were able to see Pharaoh and his armies drowned in the sea. They could test to the fact that the Lord saved them, that the Lord delivered them out of the hands of their enemies. Oh, it's a great thing when you know salvation for yourself. Oh, yeah, it's a great thing uh, when you can see the blessings of the Lord, you know, and you know that God is a miracle worker. I come to tell you, yes, God is a miracle worker. He'll part your Red Sea. He'll bring you across your Red Sea. He'll, uh, he'll show you your enemy floating in the water. Can I get a witness here? And God will make a way for you out of no way. Uh, so Joshua, there he was. He could attest to the fact that once they had crossed the Red Sea, how God miraculously gave them drink in the wilderness. Hallelujah. In the barren land where uh, there was no water. God 
made water out of nothing. Amen. There they were in the wilderness and yet God brought water from a rock. And not only did God bring water for, from a rock, but then yet God also fed them with manna from on high. Oh, yes, they were able to eat the, the living bread. Can I get a witness here? They were able to eat that manna that God gave them and, and God protected them and, and gave them shoes to put on. And the, the soles of their feet were not barren because God provided for them. He was a cloud by day and a pillar of fire uh, by night. Amen. And the Bible says that when they reached Mount Sinai and uh, God began to speak to them, he had the children of Israel to draw close. And yet God spoke to them in an audible voice and they heard the voice of the living God for themselves. <laughs> oh, yes. Hallelujah. So much so that they told Moses, Moses, you speak to us. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't let God speak to us lest we die. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes people talk about they hearing the voice of the Lord. <laughs> but, you know, if God is speaking to you, he's going to lead you in the right direction. Can I get a witness here? Oh, yeah. If God is speaking to you, he's going to bring you out of the gutter. He's going to bring you out of the pit of destruction. <laughs> if God is leading you, then he's going to put the fear of God before you. <laughs> because the Bible lets us know the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. <laughs> but fools despise wisdom and instruction. <laughs> oh, yeah. So God spoke to them and <laughs> there came a time when the Lord wanted to bless the children of Israel and wanted them to go in and take over the land of Canaan but yet uh, there was rebellion in the camp Amen. Spies were sent out, 12 spies, but 10 came back with a negative report. But Joshua was one of the two that came back with a good report. And Joshua told those that were negative that God is able to bless us. God is able to take us forward. But yet those that were negative were not able to even believe in the blessings of the Lord. But yet God blessed Joshua and Caleb because they had a different spirit. Can I get a witness here? Oh yeah, children of God, you know, we have to pray <laughs> that we have the right spirit. <laughs> we have to pray that God gives us the right mindset, the right mental attitude, <laughs> that we won't be caught up in our own selves and <laughs> get caught up in our own ways to hinder the progress of God in our lives. <laughs> Why? Because God wants to bless his children. <laughs> God wants to raise us up. <laughs> God wants us to be the head and not the tail. <laughs> God doesn't want any of his children to be behind and be without. <laughs> But God come to bless us. <laughs> oh yeah, but sometime in the midst of the blessings, <laughs> you've got negativity all around you. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> Isn't it amazing that just when God begins to work, <laughs> that the devil goes to showing up? <laughs> Can I get a witness? Sometimes when you try to do good, you got evil right there present with you. <laughs> well, Joshua knew that right in the midst of the confusion in the hell, <laughs> that if you serve God, God, <laughs> he will make a way for you out of no way. He said you may not be popular. You may have to stand by yourself. Oh, but if God be for you, who can be against you? Oh yeah, hallelujah. You don't have to worry as long as you got a mind to stay with God. And you just hold on, stay with God, hold your head up. Don't you look down because God is not going to let you down. I said God's going to make a way for you. Can I get a witness here? Oh, serving God may makes a difference. Sometimes people look at you, they can't see what the Lord's going to do or how God's going to work. But honey, if you just stand still, set your feet straight, hold your head up, look, lift your eyes into the hills from which cometh your help, honey, God will not let you down. Oh, can I get a witness here today? Oh yeah, Joshua was a witness of how God will bless you because of all those people that came out of the land of Egypt. <laughs> Josh